So lots going on on this Monday and we'll only continue to work towards that full transition to widespread snow and that will really kick in as we head into our overnight hours staying in the 30s again with those high winds. Any of that rain that we had earlier has the potential to freeze and make for very slick and icy conditions out on the roadways. So that's just another factor of what will be for this evening's a late overnight commute or very early throughout tomorrow morning's commute. But overnight we'll drop back into the upper 20s, snow, wind and cloud cover continues. That winter weather advisory is already in place happening in continuing until tomorrow at 7 p.m. And here's a look at some of your snowfall totals. The highest north and west, the lowest south and east. I think many of you could very easily see over six inches. So take the range of snowfall inches with a grain of salt that you could see over six inches in parts of our north and west communities. I think the brunt of this will come from midnight until sunrise. So tomorrow morning for your morning commute, you really need to give yourself extra time and drive slow. That'll be the name of the game. Tomorrow during the day, temperatures will drop into the lower 30s as the wind continues and the snow looks like this as we break it down on future track for you. Very widespread all throughout West Michigan throughout the morning. Picture doesn't change all that much until we get into our late morning and early afternoon hours. That's when we're going to try to start to break this down and we'll do even more so as we head into the evening. Our winter weather advisory expires at 7. I think that's when we'll really start to shut things down. And by the time you're heading out for any New Year's Eve celebrations, active snowfall should not be happening. Then we'll just be in the cleanup process, rebounding and recovering from this system. New Year's Day actually doesn't look half that bad. Cloud cover will move on out. I think we're going to have plenty of sunshine and very seasonable temperatures to kick off the new year. Here's the first three days, though. We're on a bit of a temperature roller coaster. We're falling today. Temperatures then in the 30s as we head into our New Year holiday. And then Thursday and Friday, we get back up into the 40s. So we're talking rain on Friday. But then as quickly as the weekend, we drop back down into the 30s. And talking snow chances, I think, primarily on Saturday.